in December, we started getting text messages. Uh, you scammed me, not even a hi or a hello. You scammed me, where's my money? Uh, please uh, refund my credit card. You never showed up, things like this. Started reading all these things and none of it seemed right. I didn't know any of these customers. So how confused were you? Beyond confused, I was losing my mind. I was stressing over it. I, was, I wasn't sleeping. I couldn't understand what was happening. People was, were insulting me, demanding money back, telling me that they were going to take me to court, things like that. I didn't know who these people were. In January, I started realizing, wait a minute, this is happening too often. Something's going on. So I started researching how many Boston elites are there. That's why everyone thought it was me. Because if you Google Boston elite, we pop up first. We're the longest running Boston elite in Massachusetts. So we pop up first. And it wasn't us. How big of a headache has this been? <laughs> I don't think ed headache is the word. That's an understatement. It's been a total nightmare. What was your reaction to seeing some of those customer stories? Oh my God, I couldn't believe it. I really couldn't believe it. I didn't know that people do these things. The text message that he sent, he called the customer a dumbass. Are you serious? You can only whisper that, huh? What? What level of professionalism is that? There's none. Who are you? How did you even get into a business? That's not how you speak to people. That's what I want people to take away from this. We're not that company. Please, please, please call me if you need a ride. Don't be stranded. Don't be upset. It's not me. <laughs>